And uh, this is just what the Joker looks like in person, too, as he said. I've seen so, Brian, and he looks nothing like <laughs> And uh, why was it never brought into the U.S.? You have Hitler over here? It has nothing to do with the Nazis, I swear. So, um, people really don't know why. Um, at the, at um, the panel at Anime Expo, um, someone actually brought this up to um, the people at Atlas. And um, really, Atlas USA just pretty much stated that um, they really don't know. Um, nobody who was working there at the time um, works there anymore, so um, nobody currently working knows why. Um, but they do know of the fan translation, and um, they, they gave smirks to it. So they're probably really happy that it just came over, even through a fan translation. But there have been some, um, some speculation. Um, well, you have Hitler, which is an obvious like thing. Um, then you have the possibility of homosexual relationship between um, two of the characters, the, the main character and um, one of the party characters, Joe. <laughs> so, um, well, like, if you guys know in Persona 4, it, this was... Oh, hey, hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here often? Uh, what's your sign? Uh, what, what's, uh, what's your arcana, baby? Your arcana? <laughs> Full. I'm a New fool world for you. Fool. <laughs> um, addition... In addition to this, um, around this time, the U.S. was just getting over Columbine and other school shootings, and um, the fact that this became a scene in the high school where like all these murders and stuff were happening and demons were invading could have been a contributing factor, but that's just speculation. So, um, this game never came to the U.S. The only way to play it is through fan translation, and we're going to watch the opening for this because it's awesome. He's very enthused. And uh, if you're wondering what the text was, um, it's just uh, lyrics from um, Der Doppelganger, um, which is an, a song composed by, I forgot who, but... So you see high school setting, you have Ginkgo, Kung Fu, White Girl, He's actually in a um, visual K event called Gas Chamber. The main character can join it later on. The main character is a high schooler who rides a motorcycle. Sound familiar? The Joker, he communicates through um, flower language. Those robots are... Those robots were not some robots, by the way. And that was Persona 2 Innocent Sin.
and um, I had talked about shadow selves uh, from uh, Jung's um, psychology, and these did make a major appearance in this game, as well as Persona 4. Um, it's, as I said before, it's an aspect of yourself held subconsciously that, um, that contains the, your, your repressed um, feelings of uh, weakness and, um, and um, all your anxieties and whatnot. And here we see um, Shadow Ginkgo um, confronting um, Ginkgo. Um, basically, um, Ginkgo is this um, American white girl living in Japan who can't speak English at all even though she's white and everybody ex ex expects her to speak, in speak English. And uh, um, the, just the way that um, she presents herself, um, like people were expecting it, but um, the, the shadow version of herself pretty much confronted her in the fact that um, she is pretty much pretending to be something that she's not. Um, shadow version fairly does come to so Oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, and in this game, rather than becoming personas, um, these uh, shadow cells were just other enemies to fight. So. And uh, that's uh, Steven Seagal is in the game. So <laughs> we got a real uh, action movie with Hitler and Steven Seagal in it. Let me tell you that. Um, there's actually Ginko's father, who, um, who raised um, Ginko to be uh, Yamato Nadashiko, um, which is an idealized Japanese woman. So he's the most weeaboo of weeaboo, until we see um, Bebe in Persona 3. <laughs> so. Alright, so let's go on to Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. Uh, it was released in Japan and the US in 2000. Um, it picks up in the entirely new world created at, created at the end of Innocent Sin. Um, this marked the first time that there was a female protagonist in the game. And the female protagonist is Maya Amano from Persona 2 Innocent Sin. And I promise she did not want you to look at her chest at all. <laughs> Heart boobies. Okay, so um, basically, what happened in this world is that the main character of Persona 2 Innocent Sin refused to forget his friends and thus he became an anomaly in this new world. Um, so um, weird things start happening that mirrored the other world. Um, there's this Joker who um, appears and um, is, has a similar role, but it's not the same character. <laughs> It was, uh, the, the Joker in this game is actually a member of Masquerade in um, Persona 2 Innocent Sin, who has taken on that role to punish um, Tatsuya for not forgetting his memories. And, um, well, the, the unique thing about this game was that um, while all the other Persona games are um, reflections of a high school experience, um, in this game, they wanted to uh, explore the adult experience. Um, and the main, the main party, with the exception of uh, Tatsuya, the main character from the first um, Persona 2, the first part of Persona 2, um, are adults, um, like in their age 20s, 30s, 40s, 80s. So, um, an interesting thing about this game is that um, you can actually have, there's, you have a selection of two different party members, um, either Ellen, uh, Ellie Kirishima or uh, uh, K Nanjo from the first game to actually be in your party up until the time that uh, Tatsu gets. So there are a few minor improvements from Innocent Sin. Uh, you have um, entirely new personas and some new art for existing personas. Um, and graphically, um, the personas appear a bit larger in the battlefield. And um, rather than having to um, manually queue up um, the fusion spells, there's a list that you can instantaneously just pick the fusion spell and it'll set the, um, the attacks for you so that it'll happen automatically. もう逃げられないぞ。感念しろ。何を笑っている。ケイチさん、助けてくれ。なんだ、今のは。<笑><笑> Thank you. 
行くわよユッキーオッケー夢がある